Alright, um, welcome to Michael Zombie's video. Today we will be doing this video 10 stages of every Michael Zombie's player. So, um, yeah, let's start. Alright, so the noob. The noob is a player, just started the game, he doesn't know a lot of stuff. You all, everybody knows what a noob is. Oh, um, we were all noobs at some point, but us, let me just tell you more about the noob. Noob is just a uh, player, doesn't know a lot. Gets like 20 plus downs, maybe. Just, it just, he's just the, uh, just a low level overall. There's nothing wrong with them, I, I just guess. I guess sometimes they can be kind of annoying. But, I never had a problem with a noob. Cause they're I never found them that annoying, cause we all used to be in some moves at some point, so yeah, there's no problem. Oh, now we we'll want to stage two, that is the beginner. The beginner. The beginner is a player that is that is a fairly more, I fairly, I mean, saying fairly is a bit an exaggeration, but I guess he's more advanced than the noob, if you, if you'd say. He's still pretty new at the game, but I at least he has a bit more knowledge. It isn't completely knowledge knowledgeless about the game. He just. He's kind of just there sometimes, I guess. Not a problem with him. I don't have a problem with a beginner. They're less annoying than a noob, though. They, they, they get less down than a noob. They can, they can be pretty helpful, though, sometimes. Um, That's all I gotta say about these guys. Uh, time to move on to stage 3. The Intermediate. The Intermediate is a player that is like like more advanced than noob but still uh, but still pretty similar to the noob he would still get down he would, the, he would still, the zombies would still corner him like a noob zombies still corner him like a noob he, he he's he's not that good but he's getting the ropes of the game he's learning about about like how to run he's learning about like little just like movement techniques and stuff and he's being more uh, more useful than the the noob or the beginner. This is like really they're, they're if I'm gonna be honest, the noob and the beginner are the, the, the noob and the um can I say the intermediate are pretty are pretty much the same. I think in my opinion they they they're still pretty noobish, but uh they're more useful to the team and yeah that's cool. Time to move on to stage. Ooh. The casual player. The casual player, um, it has more knowledge, I guess. Player, he time and time, time and time plays the game. He's not too super good at it. You'll still get down pretty easily. You get cornered sometimes too, but it's less than the than the than the intermediate player. And the, um, he's casual. He's not too worried. He, he, I guess sometimes he watches like Michael Zombie's video on YouTube or stuff. There's really nothing else to say about them. They're 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 pretty similar to them in like m m in every shape or way or form. They're just a bit more advanced, I guess if you'd say that. But um yeah, they're they're just more they're more useful as a team player, I guess. They're not as sweaty as it, and they're they're not they're not they're not, they're not like they're not trying to be the best. They're just playing it for fun. So yeah, let's move on to stage five. Yeah. The advanced player. The advanced player is this player now 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 knows a lot of knowledge, knows what weapons are better and stuff. But still gets a few down and stuff. Sometimes gets cornered by them, but it's rarely he will he will try to uh like clutch up at moments. Majority of the time they will fail because he's still fairly new at the game. Some players will do better though uh, some players some players will probably be like different, I guess. You know what? What am I saying? Um, yeah. They're just they're better though. They're better. They're more of a team player. They know what weapons to get, and yeah, you can rely on them. You can rely on them to revive you if if it's not too much on a high round. But like, they're they're still not a clutch god. All right. Move on to stage six. The tryhard. 
the try hard. This now this player right here, he he can clutch up. Not always, but he can clutch up. This it's in his name, he's a try hard or who the try hard is. There, there's no need to explain what this, what this guy is. He just he just a sweat at the game. He's not that good. He's not that good. And sometimes he will get cornered by that. He will sometimes scream at the chat if you don't revive him and stuff. They can't. Tryhards can be toxic, so uh, be aware of try of toxic tryhards. They are taking the game pretty seriously. But they they probably they probably like got into like round 30 ish. I guess round 30 ish. They still suck at solo. They're, they're, they 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 still suck at solo. They're they're. I mean some there's some tryhards that are nice. Other others are not. Majority of them are pretty nice, but you do find the rare breed of of a rude tryhard. Good luck, because they are pretty mean. They will scream at you. So, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about these guys. Let's move on. Stage 7. Stage 7 is a stage where a try hard, or I guess any uh, any player, any player can be in the stage, I guess. But, um, stage 7 is boredom. So, after the try hard, try hards. He, he will eventually start getting bored of the game. That happened to all of us. I do get bored from the game from a time to time. I've, I've been playing this game for like a year. A year. I'm pretty sure like two years already. So I, I do sometimes get bored. But there's some players that don't make the past the stage. They either something happened. Either something happened that demoted them. Or either something in the game pissed them off. That demotivated them. Maybe they found a different. Maybe they don't like this genre of games as much. Um. Maybe they found a different type of game to play that's more fun, or they will probably want to play a different game off Roblox. All know that all 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 players will eventually come back. I, I think majority of the time they will eventually come back, but sometimes they don't, and they. Are done with the game. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about this player. It has happened to me a few times, but I have returned. Right. One stage eight, the returner. This player has returned from being bored from the game. He went past the boredom stage. This player is now ready, ready to do anything, anything the game throws at him. He can be major. He can. He, he's still pretty new though at the game. Let me explain why. So, this player has. So, let's say for example, the player has taken a long break. Right? The player will be pretty rusty at the game. He wouldn't have his game sense and stuff. But he's still. It's, a, it's like a mix. It's like a mix between the. Uh, the. Um, it's a mix between the beginner. It's like a mix between the beginner and and the um the advanced. This player is not that advanced at it, but he's not he's he's advanced at it, but not that like like in a way that's like that's like I I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like what I'm trying to say is basically that he is just doesn't have knowledge. Like he forgot majority of the, he forgot majority of his knowledge. I'm sorry if this is too confusing. Uh, but yeah. Uh, let's move on to stage nine, the clutcher. All right, so this this the the clutcher is a player that that was in the stage of the return. He just returned from his break, and he's kind of just like like he's he's like it's in his name. He's a clutch god. This man, you can count on him to do anything you wanted. You wanna uh be uh like what do you call it again? Michael Barrow. This man got you. You wanna. You wanna do an East, you wanna do the Easter egg of Michael Barrow? He got you. You wanna get down and he and he's like on the other side of the map? He got you. He'll come. He'll risk himself. He's just a good player to have. The Clutcher. He's a pretty good team player. I mean, there's some some of them can get pretty salty, I guess. 
some of them will probably have that try hard energy still uh, why do you not revive me and other stuff but overall these are co are cool people and yeah oh uh, let's move on to stage 10 stage 10 will be the speed run the speed runner speed runner is a player that probably probably yeah you know no most definitely is to crack the game he can do anything by himself. He doesn't need teammates. Teammates are just like when he like when he just like wants to play with other people and stuff, or trying to play with friends and stuff. He's majority trying to probably try to get a good time or trying to trying to trying to escape fast on the maps. Michael Barrel and um Lighthouse. They're 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 just like they are just good at the game. They would they there's. They, they will still get their fair share of downs, I guess, from time to time, but it's a rare, it's like a very exciting to see. Majority of them will probably be high levels and stuff. And yeah. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. This has been the 10 stages of every Michael Zombies player. Tell me if, tell me what do you think about this. And yeah, hope you enjoyed.